Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at another Marvel mobile game that was announced last year, and uh, we're going to discuss what we know about Marvel Future Revolution so far, everything we've learned over this last year. We also have a little bit of an inclination of when this title is going to be released, and we're going to show that as well. But first, before we jump into all of this, if you're just now finding this channel, and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, Consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. Just a quick reminder, all the links on my social media are in the description below, so definitely check that out. Uh, this is a new game. This is a game that was announced last year, and some of the information I'm going to give was part of a mystery panel that was given last year so a bunch of this information is from there we also will hear from uh bill roseman and mark sumerak who is uh, the scenario writer for marvel future revolution so we'll learn a little bit of what we learned last year and kind of look at what's been revealed all right so the first question really about this game is is what is marvel future revolution and from that mystery panel last year i'm going to let bill roseman tell you all about this right now for all the true believers around the world, an open world RPG for mobile. The yeah. first time ever featuring Marvel. All right, so it is an open world RPG game. So when I take a look at that, what is an open world RPG game? I think right now, probably one of the most popular on the in the mobile space right now is Genshin Impact. That is an open world RPG type game. There's other open world RPG type games as well. Not a ton. Uh, there's a lot of auto pathing ones. There's a lot of uh, ARPG ones, but they didn't say action RPG. So I think some of the times when it comes to these types of games, some of those terms are probably interchangeable depending on the person talking. But if we just take what he said, it's an act open world RPG game. So that just that really makes me think of Genshin Impact, and it, which is a great game. It's a lot of fun. If they could put if if they put Marvel in that, I think that'd be absolutely fantastic. And from what we've seen so far, it looks pretty possible. And one thing they also keep mentioning in that mystery panel is. Their focus for this game is to create a high fidelity 3D open world experience, a triple A title on mobile. And some of these graphics and stuff that we see in some of these game clips and everything look absolutely fantastic. So really looking forward to jumping in and seeing what this game is all about. So there you go. That is what Marvel Future Revolution is. It's an open world RPG, first of its kind of Marvel. So then what's the story about? What is what is the Marvel Future Revolution story about? Because Bill Roseman also talks about, you know, uh, behind, Marvel is all about storytelling, right? And, and, and keeping within the DNA of Marvel. So um, we have Mark Sumerak, the, 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 the scenario writer. I hope I said his name right, uh, for Marvel Future Revolution. So I'm going to let him tell you kind of what this is about. And we've heard something about Convergence, and um, I'll let him tell you about it. Convergence is an event, it's a multi-universal catastrophe where Earths from alternate realities are brought into the same space and are doomed to collide with each other. So that creates this whole big scenario that the heroes have to face off against. And when players are thrust into the game, they're in this open world Marvel Universe that has already experienced a convergence, and so things have combined in a way that makes a world that's totally new. And in order to protect that world, you're going to become a new agent of Omega Flight. Omega Flight is the universe's last line of defense. So they're there to stop things from spiraling out of control. All right, so this this convergence, this this mashing of the worlds where where everything is colliding and we come up with some of these new places on earth to uh, to take a look at. And this is something that that you find out as you go further down in or further into that that mystery panel, but just so a couple of pictures here. So in-game footage right here. Uh, I'm not going to play it, but uh, definitely I will put the links in the description below of everything that I show today so that you can go ahead and take a look at them. Watch these gameplay videos if you haven't seen them yet. And even if you have, it's fun watching them again. So we have Zand Earth right here. This is where Xandar and Earth kind of collide, right? So we've got the hub cluster here. We also have the Chosen Valley and Sakaar. So again, all of this is kind of in-game in footage, right? So things are looking pretty nice. Here's the Desert of Sakaar. 
Um, what else do we have? We have the Great Desert of Cards. <laughs> it says the yeah, the Great Desert of Cards. A couple different, couple different uh, looks there. So you can kind of see what um, I don't know the the vastness because just taking a look at these pictures here, it looks like there's going to be a lot of areas, some cool areas to go ahead and explore. All right, so we know what the game is. We know what the story is about for the most part. Uh, so who are the playable characters? Who are the launch characters that we're going to be able to play with right off the bat? Let's take a look at that. So taking a look at Marvel Future Revolution's Twitter page, you have these four characters right here. Now through that mystery panel, these four playable characters were announced um, with the game. So we knew at least since last year that these four were going to be part of the game. And then this year, this Twitter account is becoming more and more active and sharing more information as far as playable characters. So not only are we going to be able to play with these characters right here, but we also have Storm, Astonishing Storm that's coming. Check her out. Looking all cool and everything. Playable at launch. We have Iron Man. I know uh, there were some questions also in that panel about Iron Man. Where is he? He's right here. He's a playable character as well. We also have Black Widow. I really like the artwork, the design here that they're going for. It really looks really good. So we got Black Widow playable at launch as well. Right here, it's showing a little bit of Iron Man gameplay. So this is in-game gameplay footage, right? Actual, it says right there, actual mobile gameplay footage. So when you take a look at this, it does it does feel, it does look and feel, at least for me right now, um, very much like Genshin Impact, uh, the Genshin Impact gameplay and how you play those characters. So um, that right there, very cool. Also, you can see right here, Star-Lord. I think he was the newest and the last one that we've been told so far that is going to be playable at launch. Really looking forward to this guy as well. Rebellious Star-Lord. So of those characters there, we have four from the initial announcement, and we have been told four more. So those are eight characters currently that are going to be available to play at launch with this game. Very exciting. A nice choice of characters. I thought it was good. It's nice to see kind of Star-Lord. Star-Lord typically is not a character, or Black Widow is typically not a character either, that you're able to play right off the bat. Really, Storm isn't either. Typically, they stay, they stay pretty solid with Spider-Man and Cap. Uh, the Avengers, mainly, right? Since uh, they're they're pretty popular. There's a lot of popular Marvel characters. A ton of them are, but... Um, I think really the familiarity with the with the recent movies and things like that really kind of bring the attention to them. And everybody likes Spider-Man, Cap, the Avengers. They're all pretty cool. So that is where we are as far as playable characters at launch so far. And this last one was announced March 25th. So that was just last month. So also something else that was asked, they were asked, well, what something that was mentioned during that panel was you're able to pan and scan the camera. So like in, in Genshin Impact and, and a few of the other, well, the other open world mobile games, there's a lot of games out there where you can pan and scan your camera. Question was asked about, about controller support. Will this game support the option to use a controller, which I think would be great. I think that would be um, awesome, actually. So they did say that they were taking a look at that. They're not saying it's impossible, but they're not saying it's possible either. So that was feedback that they had received. So we'll see if it happens. I think it would be cool to do that, um, to give us uh, some controller support, especially with this kind of game. So, um, I mean, if you take a look at it, I mean, it seems very similar. It's like they took Marvel Avengers and they put it on mobile. <laughs> but uh, so this is a continuation or kind of the next evolution of Marvel Future Fight. Marvel Future Fight, I would say, is a traditional action RPG, a mobile action RPG game. This one, I think, is going to be much, this one's going to be on a much larger scale. So with that being said, now the question comes, when, when can we get our hands on this game? So um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this right here. So this is, this was the last investor relations meeting that Netmarble had for Q4 of last year. They had this, I believe it was in February. And right here, Marvel Future Revolution, global, excluding China, 2H21. So what that is, is that second half of 2021. So the first half, Q1, Q2. So second half, so we are looking at somewhere, somewhere between what? July and December. So somewhere in that six month period, this game is supposed to be launched. Now, we do have another investor relations meeting coming up 
Um, I believe it's next month in May, and we may find out more. They might narrow it down. Maybe they're going to put last half, you know, maybe they're going to put Q, specifically say Q3 or Q4 on when this game is going to be launched. So then it at, then the question is, is what about a beta? In that mystery panel, they did talk about having a, a beta available. And since typically betas are, I don't know, betas I've seen as short as three months, and I've seen as long as two years, depending on the title. So, I mean, if you just kind of take a look at that, uh, and it's supposed to be launched sometime in the second half of this year, I would say maybe... Maybe sometime in June, July, somewhere around there, um, or maybe sooner, we'll hear something about a beta or a soft launch somewhere, uh, so that they can so they can go ahead and get in there. Um, but uh, we're coming up really close to when second half starts, so that beta, that soft launch, is going to have to happen fairly quickly. And with the amount of activity on the Marvel Future Revolution Twitter page, I would say it's probably pretty soon. So. May, June, July, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just guessing. But that's the information that we have to go on so far. So that is everything that we have so far. That's all that we have learned about this game, which is a lot. It's an it's a mobile RPG game. Think of Genshin, uh, Genshin Impact. We have eight playable characters coming out. The story is, is unique, and I think it's going to be exciting. And we know kind of around the time frame that this game is going to be launched. So we have a ton of information here, actually. So really, what's left to be uh, left to be seen is the beta and soft launch and getting in there and then seeing what, because the gameplay footage that you're going to see is um, marketing material stuff, right? Different angles, things like that, which typically we're not going to see from our perspective, the way that the camera pans and stuff like that. So it'd be nice to get into that game and kind of see what it feels like. And I think really that's the last part of 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 this game the last question is what will the game really feel like and i'm excited for it i i swear if it's anything like Genshin impact uh but you're playing with marvel characters i'm sold <laughs> all right everybody that is what i had for you today continue to watch the channel for any new updates that come out for this game we are going to follow this game all the way up until launch and possibly beyond so uh, definitely let me know your thoughts on this game. What are you excited for? Definitely let me know if you want to see more content on this. The more comments, the more thumbs up. Um, then that definitely lets me know that uh, you're interested in this title and you, and you want to know more. All right, everybody. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody. and We'll talk to you next time.